Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends, all across the globe today, and welcome back to another little bit of DLC prediction video. I know, I know, we're not through with these just yet. We have one big one that I feel like a lot of people tend to talk about that has a lot of awesome animals that I feel like could satisfy so many people's niches. So I think we're actually going to talk about that one finally today. So presenting the endangered species dlc this one doesn't really fall in line with what we've seen with the continental dlcs of years past but i think this one has a huge chance at becoming a reality it would cover so many different animals that we currently don't have in game that would satisfy so many fans all across the board be it old school players from the zoo tycoon days all the way up to new players who like you know haven't really played zoo tycoon but without further ado we're gonna jump into it with the animal pack first and foremost starting with the fusa now if you guys don't know the fusa is the largest carnivore in Madagascar. It is such a beautiful animal. I was so lucky to see these guys recently, and they're very, very interesting. They're the main predator of the lemur, and they're very often found in these Madagascar exhibits, and I feel like they're an integral part of that continent, not even continent, sorry, island, country, uh, that doesn't really get represented all that well, and I feel like getting these guys as a huge representation for the island of Madagascar would be a really awesome thing to have. These guys are versatile, these guys are extremely, like, you know, arboreal and kinetic, which I feel like makes for a wonderful addition to a roster. You know what also would make for a wonderful addition? The Black Rhino. These guys are badass, alright? Now we did recently just get the White Rhino, and I know people may feel a little Rhino fatigued, but the Black Rhino is badass, okay? These guys, listen, the White Rhinos look like pushovers compared to the Black Rhino. These guys are insane to watch in zoos, and they're extremely, extremely beautiful at that. Alternatively, I would also throw in the Javan Rhino. Actually, no, the Sumatran Rhino in there. Sorry. Uh, not really a big fan of the Javan Rhino because it kind of just looks like an Indian Rhino. So if we do get another kind of Rhino, either Black Rhino or Sumatran Rhino would be a wonderful addition. Sumatrans are really cool. They have beautiful colors and they do actually have fur on them, which is very, very cool. Moving on from there, I also have the Scimitar Horned Oryx. These guys are beautiful and they are extremely common mainstays on this channel just because they're one of my favorite artiodactyls they have this beautiful orange stripe going across their pure white body and they have these beautiful horns on them as well they're extremely beautiful and they're a conservation story in a nutshell these guys were on the brink of extinction in fact they are currently extinct in the wild and they're only kept in certain populations all across the globe today in order to make sure that the species stays alive and i feel like getting these guys represented would be a wonderful thing to have not only for planet zoo but just for the world in general these guys are extremely beautiful and i feel like we're missing a key zoo animal when it comes to these guys Speaking of conservation stories, I also have the Red Wolf. Now I know, I know, we've had way too many wolf clones in the past, but the Red Wolf is one that I find particularly, particularly very close to home because we do have a breeding pair at Roger Williams Park Zoo. I recently was able to see the whole troop of them that will pack, really, down in Zoo Tampa. They're extremely kinetic animals, and they're extremely important to the environment as well. Unfortunately, they were hunted almost to extinction, and they were only saved with a couple members of the species, but they have made such a triumphant return. There's still so much work to be done with these guys, but it's really awesome to see just how important zoos can play in a role for conservation, not only for all kinds of animals, but for the Red Wolf specifically. It's a really awesome thing to see when it comes to that stuff. As well as the Southern Hairy Nosed Wombat. These guys are adorable. You guys may already know of the mod that me and Nick put out for them, but I feel like these guys need to be represented in the game officially. Now this would also give us another Australian animal, which is extremely important to have. I love Australian wildlife. You guys know how we feel about like, you know, the whole Outback pack and stuff like that. That's my little baby right there but i would just love to see more australian representation within the game itself and the southern hairy nose wombat is no particularly um 
Uh, stranger to all that stuff, they are a critically endangered wombat species, and they're just very, very interesting to see, like, you know, how Australia handles all their conservation. It's very interesting. Uh, moving on from there, I also have any given species, okay? I am done asking. Pull up the Bernie Sanders meme. I just want a gibbon. Uh, whether it be a gibbon, crested gibbon, white-cheeked, white-handed, siamang, yellow-cheeked, or whatever, I don't care. These guys are endangered. They're extremely, extremely at risk when it comes to their habitat being destroyed, and I feel like these guys would be a shoe win when it comes to an endangered species pack like this, as well as a golden line tamarind. These guys are beautiful. We have them over at Roger Williams Park Zoo, and they are endangered species of primate. They're very tiny. Uh, do keep that in mind. I would love to see these guys officially get implemented because they are adorable. But, I don't know, I just feel like Frontier would be able to handle these guys really well. We've got the Prairie Dogs, we got the Meerkats, we got the Fennec Fox. We got so many different kinds of small animals, but no arboreal small animals. And I feel like that's a niche that I would love to see filled out relatively soon. Last but not least, we do have the exhibit animal. I'm going basic over here and saying the Lord Howe Island stick insect. These guys are really cool, and, you know, there's a little bit of validity to them in there. So, you know what? I'm going to bet all my chips on that one. I also need to give a huge shout out to Otter Lord from the comment sections from, I think it was back in the Islands DLC <laughs> prediction video. Um, he actually came up with the following idea for the actual scenery pack. Now, he suggested a conservation theme with a field research center, with a breeding center that would, you know, maybe it would have in-game elements that kind of boost breeding for animals that don't really have high breeding values. Uh, in case if you've ever modded Planet Zoo, you can definitely change how often an animal will breed, how many offspring it would give, or however may it's successful at giving. And I feel like it'd be a really awesome thing to implement when it comes to this, just as a way to kind of build up some more lore within the game itself. Uh, especially for franchise and challenge players, where you guys really do need to focus on breeding endangered species. I feel like it would bring so much more validity to that, because when I played franchise and challenge mode, it really didn't matter what the conservation level was for an animal. I just bought it just because I could buy it. But I feel like when you integrate this level of, I don't know, world building when it comes to that kind of stuff, it'd be a really awesome feature to have. Uh, and I would also love to see utili utilitarian pieces in here as well, is what Otter Lord suggested. Um, it's going to be a really awesome idea to get some of these, especially if you look at Nick's Jurassic Park pack with all the building pieces they added. I would love to see a lot more stone, concrete, just very versatile materials that, you know, zoos on budgets, excuse me, really tend to use. Um, a lot of the times, you can't really afford all that faux rock work. You can't really afford all that beautiful stained wood buildings. Oftentimes, you really need to go for, uh, we can kind of get this cheap brick from the factory right next door. Uh, I would love to see a lot of stuff when it comes to that. But also, we have the animals for the scenery pack. We're going to get into this really quickly. We're just going to bang them right off the list. Black Rhino, Red Wolf, Southern Hairy Nose Wombat, any given species, and the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect. This would be my ideal list, but definitely do let me know let me know about yours in the comments down below always do love seeing those from you guys it's a really awesome thing that we do every single week if you guys are new here um but yeah that's pretty much it for the endangered species dlc do i think this would happen i think we actually have a higher chance at this happening as an animal pack um just as a way for a frontier to maybe even send the game on its way say all right here's the rest of the animals that you guys really wanted uh, we're done by or something like that. I don't really know But I do think that we might have the possibility of this happening So definitely do keep your eyes peeled for the following news cycles I know we're probably gonna get some more news in March So keep your eyes and ears definitely posted around then But I think all that being said that is pretty much it for my entire spiel today Always do love having you guys over here on the Saturdays. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your weekend, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.